Hey guys, uh, Johnny here. Um, today's video is going to be on the um, Sharp Touch. Uh, please bear with me while I take this pen. Daily login. Can't be missing those. Even though I've got every player that is. Right. Great pen, great pen. Um, so, yeah. So today's video is going to be on the uh, Sharp Touch skill. Um... So what I mean by this is the, I'll show you in the um, skills thing. Uh, redeem this real quick. Right. So if you go to your controller settings. Um, right. It's down here. As you can see, this is sharp touch. Sharp touch, well, for me, it's set to once. But for most of you, it will be set to twice. Originally, when the game first came out, it was set to once, but we didn't have the option to see that it was set to once. But when we first started, it was set to once. So for those of you that don't know, or who might not have the, um, if I go to, where is it? Training, right? If I go to free training, right? So for those of you that don't know, um, back in like PES eFootball 2022, there was a thing that if you touched the, um, if you touch the, as you can see, the little circle, you see the circle underneath my player's foot. This circle is why I have it on at all times so that um, it doesn't happen. So sharp touch is when the circle underneath my foot is like double circle, that means I've done a sharp touch or a knock on. Most of you guys will call it like a knock on sprint like this. You see the little circle is like double underneath my foot. It's double. This is a knock-on run, or it can be a sharp touch. Now, back in eFootball 2022, it was set to once. So sometimes you guys might have been confused when you take a first touch of your player and it takes the heaviest of touches. Like, for instance, this. As you can see, it takes a really heavy touch. But that was because of sharp touch. Now, most of you probably had the... Um, you probably had the setting... Uh, is it directional guide? I think you probably had a directional guide off. So what would happen is you didn't know your player was taking a sharp touch. You just saw a heavy touch and thought, oh my days, where's that heavy touch? But that is literally just a sharp touch taking um, place. As you can see, look, I take a heavy touch, but it really wasn't a heavy touch. It was actually the sharp touch. Now, as I mentioned before, eFootball 22, it was set to once by default, but we couldn't see the option for that. That's why in eFootball 23 or 24, I'm not sure when they did it, they set it to twice. So the chances of you taking a heavy touch on the first touch was set to, like it was, it was supposed to be reduced. So literally, a uh, sharp touch is literally tapping your uh, sprint button twice now but originally it was just tapping your spring button once. And because I'm used to once, I changed it back to once. So um, that's why I use once. And then I'm gonna put the, uh, the circle back on. Right. So as you can see, this is how important a sharp touch is. A sharp touch, you can literally do a drag back, which is literally the rock chalk roll, we call it. Slightly moving your left stick backwards and then just tap and sprint in the other direction. Well, for you guys, it'll probably be double tap and sprint in the other direction. But I feel like when you set it to once, the smoothness is a lot more better, is, is more better, sorry, not more better, that's terrible English, is a lot better with it set to once, as you can see. Look, I can do that once. But there's many um, things for sharp touch. You can use it as a first touch, as you can see. If they've got really high ball control, you can use it as a first touch to get away from a defender. If you've got, um, for instance, I don't know, um, let's say you do a skill move, for instance, you do a skill move, you can double tap, you can do a like, sharp touch away from a defender. I think I might have an example. Another, another thing is when you do a fake shot, as you can see on the strong foot, you can push the ball in the other direction fast. As you can see, look. Look, I'm still doing a 
Boom. Look. Look at that. Boom. Boom. So it depends on what you want to use a sharp touch for. I use it for a first touch. So if I give it to a, um, to Iniesta, I might do that for a first touch to get away from a defender. I might use it to quickly turn backwards when I'm walking. Look at that. I might do that. Or I might do that. When it's on the stronger foot, when the ball's on a stronger foot and you do a sharp touch in the other direction, it's more effective. As you can see, the ball is on Iniesta's right foot and I do a sharp touch in the other direction, it's more effective. As you can see. So I'm guessing for people like Neymar who have a really, very high weak foot, it's going to be the same regardless. Yep. As you can see, look. We can literally turn away from the person without even losing the ball speed. He's like, boom, he doesn't expect it. Well, away. Doesn't expect it. I'm showing you some replays just to show you what it looks like. I'm just going to scroll forward a bit. Change camera. Right. As you can see. No, not this one. This one. This one right here. Pay attention to what, look at the ball. It looks like I'm doing a Romario uh, cut behind and turn, but it's literally just the um, the, R2, the R2 button sharp touch in the other direction. Now, what I've noticed is this sharp touch is very, very effective if your player has cut behind and turn, heel trick, and possibly soul control. As you can see, Neymar has cut behind and turn and I've given him soul control. But cut behind and turn is really, I think heel trick, I think with heel trick, it does a Raquel May. Raquel May, uh, I think, I'll check, Romario has it. I'm just gonna check. With um, heel trick, it does a, uh, a Raquel May thingy. I don't know how to do it, but it, it does do it sometimes. As you can see, look, I'm just using a sharp touch to turn. Nothing, nothing crazy, just sharp touch. And we're still able to, you know, turn. And the ball is still close to our feet. So I, I could do like a, you know, a fake shot and a, you know, fake shot. And then I literally tap the right stick, tap R2 for a sharp touch. There's crazy combinations. You can do a skill move and then sharp touch away from a defender if you feel like you're slowing down. You could do a reverse flip flap and then sharp touch away. And my favorite one is the uh, step over and then a sharp touch. So I'll do it here and boom, like literally really, really effective as a first touch. Especially if you're walking, if you're walking and then boom, away, look, boom, away. But again, you probably don't want to see that. You probably want to see examples. So um, I think I might have clips again. Uh, I do it every time. But um, I'm going to see. Sorry, that's the sombrero. Wrong clip. I guess Rock Chalk would be the best example. Right. Okay. Hey, guys. So we're back again after some examples. This is a great example here, as you're gonna see. I kick it out to, look at that. We're gonna slow this down to a really slow speed. We're gonna slow this down and go slightly back. As you can see, we get the ball on the counter, but I use a sharp touch as a first touch for, um, for Ribery, which you're about to see here. Look, look at Ribery, we're going to pause it. We're going to slow this down here. As you can see, we're, we're going to use R2. We're going to tap it as a first touch to carry the ball away from the defender's auto intercept. We're going to see here, pay attention to the circle underneath my player's foot. Boom. Away. As a crazy first touch. And then we go on to score. This was against Rock Chalk. That's a great example. Again, 
Some of you may remember this clip, this game. This was against the uh, T500 player. Um, it's on my YouTube. You can check it out. Um, I'll leave a, a link to the video in the description. This is a great um, match of me using sharp touch quite a lot. You're going to see me do it. Um, so again, we switch the play, which you're going to see in a second. Switch the play. Do a sombrero first touch and then pay attention to Neymar here. Boom, sharp touch. Slow this down. 0.5, we'll slow down 0.5. Now, in this situation, I am. this is why sharp touch is really OP. I'm slowing the game down, and then he doesn't know what hit him. I do a body feint, because I noticed he's switched off the player. And he's and he's using second man press. So I'll do a body feint and sharp touch, which is double tap sprint for some of you who set it to twice. And then for me who set it to once, I just tap sprint and boom, I'm away. He doesn't know what to do. He has to switch. So we're going to put it back to normal speed. I'll try to see if I do it again. Again, I do it here again. As you can see, this is what I was talking about in my in the beginning. Um, so this is my, this is my signature move. I learned it from, obviously I watch a lot of football, real life football. I played football and I know Neymar does this a lot in real life. So what he does is he does a fake shot and then he does a body feint. So a fake shot. Now, if the ball is on the, my player's strongest foot, the um, adv best use of the sharp touch is to knock the ball in the direction of the strongest foot. So my strongest foot is here on the right side. So we're going to push the ball to the left here with my strongest foot. So as you can see, sharp touch away from the defender. And because he didn't select his defender fast enough, the change of momentum name was already gone. So there's nothing he can do there. As you can see, and we're away. Again, pay attention. This side here, because I did the fake shot the first time and I did the knockout and I did the um, sharp touch, he's probably thinking I'm going to do it again. So, but this time we went upwards instead of downwards. That's why he switched to... Um, to Declan Rice here, but we didn't go here anymore. We were going here. So uh, again, it's the mind games at this point. So again, I'll find another clip, an example. Okay, we're back again. We found another clip. This is a great clip here. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. Using a sharp touch after you do a skill move against a defender is really OP. So as you see here, we're going to slow this down. Um, I have Neymar here. I do a drag back. And then I know he's going to switch to Araujo here. And then what do I do? I use a sharp touch to beat the defender, as you see here. Slow this down slowly again. One, two. We get the ball. Sorry. We get the ball. Drag back. Sharp touch. Away from the skin. Like, there's nothing he can do there. And then, yeah, that's another reason why we use a sharp touch. Great skill. Again, uh, back again, another clip. Some of you might know this clip. This is my Neymar's Too Good video. It's an example of me using the sharp touch here. I'll show you where. Right, here. Pay attention, again, a fake shot on my strong foot. And then you can see, can you see the circle? I've done a fake shot, slowed it down, and the ball is on my strong foot. So I tap sharp touch, which is your sprint button, and boom, away. Again, I'm a, the Cosmo player has really high ball control, decent dribbling, and good acceleration. So when I tap that sharp touch as a like a first touch after, like to change uh, for after a change in pace, it is lethal, very very lethal. 
as you can see, like we we've done it against we did it against Rock as a first touch. We've done it against a top like five hundred player, and it works. Sharp touch is really really underrated in this game. Right. Okay, guys. Um, that's all I have on the today's video. Hope you like it. Um, peace.